Hello, welcome to Crazy Row Studio. In this video, we will be taking a look at Networker NSR tools. NSR tools is an interactive command line utility created by the Dell EMC field support, which bundles different support tools to have one tool in one place. The tool can be downloaded from the FTP link on your screen and also in the description below. This tool supports Networker version 18 and newer releases and the operating system compatibility is listed on your screen which includes Windows 2012 64 or newer, Linux 64-bit distributions that is inclusive of CentOS, uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise, 6.x, 7.x and 8.x and uh, SUSE Linux 11.x, 12.x or newer. There is no installation required and NSR tool is a read-only tool which means that there is no configuration change that will be done on your system and it is pretty safe to be tinkering about. There are a lot of tools packed into this one package and covering all of it in one video is going to make the video a lot lengthier. Thus, this is going to be a multi-part video. Link to the videos for the different tools are available in the description below. This is the third part of the multi-part video set of videos for NSR tools. Now in this part, we will be taking a look at the features, Data Domain M3 Explorer, Jobs DB Process Activity, Daemon Log Common Errors, Data Domain Device Integrity Check, and Cloud Boost Device Integrity Check. So let's go ahead and uh, launch the NSR tools, which I've already done. And on launch, as always, you will see all this great information regarding your system. So this is uh, the latest version of NSR tools that I have. As compared to the earlier one, you would see that there's that huge banner of uh, the tools icon missing, but that's okay. Uh, here we have all the information related to the networker's uh, application as well as your networker server. So let's dive into the first feature here, which is the Data Domain M3 Explorer. So the Data Domain M3 Explorer feature emulates something that NFS underscore dump command does. And for those who are not aware of what NSA, NFS underscore dump does is that it is a SE command on data domain used to get the list of files on the data domain or just with a specific entry or directory. This is usually done by going into the SE mode on your data domain. Uh, but here in NSR tools, uh, the NSR tools uses the DD boost API to access the entry and get similar information from the data domain. So the information that you get from the uh, data domain explorer uh, feature is again dumped into a csv file for your uh, uh, reference so to use this feature we have to use the command rm3 explorer remember that you can use your tab e to autocomplete and this is going to ask you which dd you want to use so i have just one so i'm going to select that the DD boost credentials that's done and if it is it's asking for your confirmation if all the information you provided was correct I say yes and it has now picked up the entries in my uh, data domain I just have one entry that is the NSR server but it's not going to pick up the system entries or the default entries this is just going to pick up the uh, SUs or storage units that are configured on the data domain. Uh, here I just have one, so I'll give the number as one and hit enter. Now it's going to scan that entry. And if you see here, it is giving you all the information regarding the different files that are existing here. And they are short as well as long as society. So this you can compare with your um, with the information on your media database and uh, yeah so we can cross verify that way and uh, looking at the uh, information that you can get from this particular feature or command is the long SSID, the short SSID, the timestamp of which is in Unix uh, format, uh, the capacity of uh, that particular file 
and uh, the number of files that are in there and the full path of the entry for that particular uh, folder so and if you look at the summary at the end you would see where exactly the output has been uh, stored and it is stored in a csv format so that it is easier for you to import into uh, excel and uh, work with that data so that was all about data domain entry explorer right so the next feature in our list is the jobs db process activity so this feature collects data from the jobs db and counts how many processes uh, how many processes were done in the last 72 hours so last 72 hours is because that is the uh, default retention of your jobs db and to use this feature you can run the command jobs db activity on the nsr tools so the jobs are all tracked and the different uh, job types that you can track here are the workflow jobs the save fs save clone recover bootstrap and ev proxy so these are the number of jobs that I have completed for me because there's no much activity happening so you would, you might not find a, a lot of them so you might want uh, you might need this information for maybe performance tuning or to see if the uh, if the networker resources that you have are enough or if you have any performance issues and if you want to see if the number of jobs uh, are an issue because the number of jobs is directly equivalent to the resources that are available on the networker server uh, to maybe look at that you can you could use this particular feature let's go ahead and move to the next feature which is the daemon log common errors so this feature is used to search for the most common error codes in networkerdaemon.draw. So the errors are being updated with every release of the NSR tools. So try to use the latest version of the NSR tools uh, uh, binary, which is always updated on the FTP side. So to use this feature, we are going to run the command log common errors and hit enter so it is asking you me if we if i want to check the demon.draw i say yes and i'm gonna stay with the default which is the last 24 hours so you can go ahead and select the last four hours eight hours 12 hours or whatever number of hours you want to go back to so whenever we are troubleshooting on a particular issue and we want to see how many times a particular error is occurring we might go ahead and check for the minimum number of hours so depending on your requirement do so i'm going to select 24 hours because there are no really not any errors in my demon.raw so uh there is no list here so let me take you to the documentation for the nsr tools and let's go to demon dot demon log most common errors and if you do have the errors it would look something like this so i assume we uh, there are no error codes as such related to the networker uh, application but i see that they have come up with error codes now which is very uh, which is a, actually a great feature and uh, it is going to help with uh, troubleshooting so these are the most common errors and uh, the error codes and the error description so this is going to help you figure out if there is any common error going on in your network server which is causing a particular issue uh, at the networker backup side all right the very next very cool feature is the data domain device integrity check and uh, this particular feature is used to check the integrity of your data domain device by checking the particular dd device or volume which is ultimately a folder in your um, on your uh, data domain uh, it is going to check the metadata with the media database metadata content so now this is done in the back end by running a scanner command to, and uh, and to use this feature we are going to run the command integrity db boost check on the nsr tool prompt and it is going to display any mismatches that uh, might occur so if I if you look at the uh, screen here it is going to ask you for the data domain device but there is no device listed here it is just a cosmetic bug 
and it is being worked on by the uh, developers of NSR tools. But if you look at uh, the summary here, I do have one device configured and I'm going to just select that for now and hit enter. It is asking me for the deep boost user uh, password and that is I've just given and it is going to run the scanner in the back end. So depending on the size of your uh, device, it might take uh, some time. So I'm going to pause the video for a couple of minutes until this completes. All right, so I have an uh, output here and here if you see that it is telling me that the uh, these save sets are missing from the data domain records. So as I told you, this is running a scanner in the back end and uh, if you see, I have almost all my save sets here and uh, there is no missing records on the media database. Uh, so this is how the output would look like and in my case I have all my save sets listed here because I have just recently changed the DD boost user and I have not updated it on my on the networker uh, device configuration and that is why it's not able to or the scanner is not able to complete and that is why it's listing everything here but this is how it would look like and let me just show you how the complete output would look like on the NSR tools so this is a documentation and this is how it would gradually look like so for example we could not see this because of the cosmetic bug that we had so this is how the the device would be listed and um, this is how the missing records would be uh, listed as well all right so moving on to the next feature that we have in our list which is the cloud boost device integrity check now again, I don't have any Cloud Boost devices, so I'm just going to show it to you here on the documentation itself. So this is very similar to how the DD Boost device integrity check worked. It is again going to use Scanner in the background to check the content of the media database as well as the content of the uh, Cloud Boost device. So we are going to do this by running the command integrity CB check, and this is again going to do go and check all the uh, information it is going to display the devices that you have the cloud boost devices that you have then you select any one of them and then it is going to check all the information that is in there and give you the information regarding to what data is missing from the cloud boost as uh, and or what data is a mismatch between your cloud boost and the uh, media database so this is all I have in this part of the NSR tools feature introduction and stay tuned for the next set of features. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below, or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.